Peace be with you. My name is Alan Kiesler. And although I'm in the United States, I'm always thinking of Pakistan. Because Pakistan is a very special place where, God willing, Pakistan will become the land of the pure and pure love will be reestablished in Pakistan, leading to world peace, God willing. And I want to talk about that point and two other very important points, because uh, tomorrow I'm going for heart procedures. I will have an angioplasty, which uh, they insert some dye into the heart and take x-rays or they can see if there's some blockages in the arteries. And if so, they may insert a stent or more, more than one um, because I have had some issues with my heart. And uh, even my doctor has told me there's a chance, even a good chance, that if the angiogram, that is the test to see what's in the arteries, uh, shows it, I may have to have heart surgery also tomorrow. So uh, angiograms and angioplasty are not at all dangerous, but heart surgery is. So if that happens, I thought, well, maybe I won't come back from the hospital tomorrow, in which case I should summarize uh, what I consider the really what I've been teaching and what is really the purpose of my life is to share this, that God is love and that love is the most important thing. Every religion teaches that. Uh, Ishq, Muhabbat, Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Muhabbat in Islam ke sabse mazboot amal hai. And in Hinduism, prema pumarto mahan, prema, love is the most highest purpose of human life. And uh, in the Jewish and Christian religions also, the most important law, Jesus Christ was asked, what is the most important law? And he said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and your neighbor as yourself. So love is the most important teaching. And as I've often said, for me, for other people, other things may be there. But I think for my life, my purpose in life is to especially help people of different religions love each other. We must establish love and peace between people of different religions. Otherwise, there can never be world peace. So that is the first teaching. <laughs> love among all. And love for God. And especially love among people of different religions. Different religions are parts of one plan of God. There's only one God. And different religions are given to different types of people because different types of people have different needs. It's not that everyone has the same need. So different types of religions are given for people with different tendencies, different requirements. And we should understand that all religions are good. And misunderstandings exist in every religion, of course, but the truth of every religion is the same, and that is especially love. So let us remember this wonderful example of the religions of the world are like flowers in a garden. So all uh, flowers, if they were the same kind and the same color, it would not be so beautiful as a garden with different types of flowers, different colors of flowers. So in the same way, the differences among religions should be the cause of beauty, not the cause of disharmony. Uh, okay, then the second point is, very important point, I have been told, actually, in one sense, this is my most important teaching, that God has form. Um, often people think God is invisible, therefore God doesn't have form. So God is invisible to our eyes at this time, but God has form, and when he wants, he can reveal himself. And uh, I believe every religion, actually, or most religions at least, have some idea that, at least in the afterlife, those who are fortunate and pious and go to heaven, they will get the chance to see God, literally. Um, so what is required to be able to see God? Purity, pure love, purity of heart. 
So we're not pure now, so we can't see God. <clears throat> but when we become pure, God willing, we will be able to see God. And because God is all-powerful and God can do anything, he can al allow us or enable us to see him whenever he wants. And the third point is that I have been told Pakistan is a very, very special place. Uh, Pakistan is that place where pure Islam will be reestablished. Pure Islam means love. So love will be reestablished in Pakistan, which will lead to world peace. That's what I've been told. That's what I believe. And uh, so that's what I'm especially working for. All right, that's all I wanted to say. I'm just going to see if there are any questions or comments. And uh, let's see what we have here. Ishfaq Ahmed says, Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum salam. Govinda Soni says, Hare Krishna Prabhu, Dandavat Pranam. Hare Krishna, Dandavat Pranam to you too. Nadar Baloch says, Sir, you are a very great person. No, I'm not a very great person. Zain Ahmed says, Sir, it is important to get married and have children. Is it important to get married? Can an individual survive without marriage and kids? It is possible, but very, very difficult. Almost impossible, we could say. But, uh, for most people, it's important to get married and have children, but it's not absolutely essential. And there are some few rare people who can uh, survive without marriage and kids. But generally, it's advised. In most religions, it's clear. Uh, people are advised to get married. But in some religions, there is a teaching. If you can manage to live without getting married and having children, then that's okay or even good. But that's very, very rare. Okay, Farash Shahid says, May Allah give you speedy recovery. Thank you. Muhammad Hamza says, Assalamu alaikum, Baba Ji Ali, wa alaikum salam, Muhammad Hamza Ji. MN Azimi says, You are a pure soul. No, I'm not pure. <laughs> Zain Ahmed says, Sir, is God also evolving? Oh, that's a very interesting question. Um, God is infinite. So, from our point of view, God can't evolve because God is already everything and infinite. But from God's point of view, I've been told this and it's kind of difficult to understand, but why can't God, uh, although he is infinite, why can't his infiniteness increase? <laughs> so from our point of view, from a mathematical point of view, infinity is infinity. It cannot increase its infinity. It's already everything. But uh, I see no reason why uh, God being infinite and having all power also has the power to increase his infiniteness. <laughs> very interesting question, Zain Ahmed, sir. Thank you very much. Farah Shahid says, your preaching are very true. Thank you very much. Okay, and thank you all very, very much. And uh, please pray for me as tomorrow I will be going to the hospital for some heart procedures. And I hope I will uh, again have this live chat uh, on Saturday as I do 7.30 p.m. Pakistan time 6.30 a.m. California time okay thank you very very much may God protect us all be happy God is wonderful God is perfect God is beautiful and God is our best friend and all powerful so God is protecting us <laughs>